Hey guys, it's Kavetta. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. We are full time traveling the world, currently in Cartagena, Colombia. Come check out this amazing city with us and see what we get into. Good morning, you guys. Good morning from Cartagena, Colombia. Oh my god, it is muy caliente, you guys. OMG. Like, almost touching 100 and it is so humid like as soon as you step out you start melting and you just want to go back inside so we just took an uber we're at the mall in the wall city we're gonna go find some food and then i don't know you guys like i legit do not feel like going outside like you don't even understand how hot it is but yeah we're, i'm gonna see what we can get into walk around a little bit i think we're just gonna start coming out in the evening time and just stay in work, do school during the mornings because it is way too hot. Like it is undescribably hot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, but well, this is a nice mall in the old, in the walled city. Gonna walk around and maybe check out some of the streets, you know, some of the prettiness and see what's happening over here. So there wasn't a ton of places to eat in here, it's just a fancy shopping mall, but of course there's a crepes and waffles, so we're just gonna eat here. <laughs> we know it, we love it, so we're just gonna, you know, stick with what we know and then um, go back out. But you guys, I'm gonna say it again, it's hot. I don't even know if I want to go out. I don't know how today's gonna turn out, you guys, because we're already dying, but we'll see. But let's enjoy breakfast and then continue on. Alright you guys, so now we're walking, like the sun is disrespectful, like seriously, oh my goodness, I'm sure it's, like I said, it's at a hundred or more right now, <laughs> so we're just walking outside a little bit, I don't know, we're aimlessly walking, we have no goal, no aim, we're just going, seeing what's here, I'll keep you posted, just literally walking, and I know you can walk around the wall, like climb and go up, we did that somewhere in the Balkans, totally forget where, forgot where it was, but it is uh, um, an option so we might check that out too see what we can do still walking wandering around trying to stay on the streets that have some sort of shade this is the only thing that's saving us and we just pop into like some pharmacies <laughs> <laughs> to get some AC you guys like the struggle is so so real yeah so inside the wild city it is so pretty I love the architecture the colorful buildings just the beauty of it but we're just walking. Of course, there's museums and stuff in here you can do. There's the cultural museum. There's the gold museum, but we already did gold back in Medellin. So the kids are like, yeah, we're gold out. And, uh, you know, some other types that you can do. But we don't want to do any museums or anything. We're just walking and looking. And inside the wall city, you guys, you're going to have people just yelling, calling you from, for everything, from every an angle. It gets annoying, but again, you're in a tourist city, so get used to it oh and next thing everything inside the wall city is uh, 10 times the price like a regular bottle of water you can get it for a thousand anywhere outside pharmacy supermarket whatever inside here it's four thousand something like seriously so keep that in mind bring your own when you're coming down it is hot like i said so you definitely need it to walk with All right, it is an overcast day, but we are here at the Castello San de San Felipe. We're at the castle today. Um, yesterday, I just I started doing some work on the bed, and before I know it, <laughs> before I knew it, you guys, it was nighttime and I was just waking up, so I was tired. I needed that rest. So today. Um, Try to come out when it's not too hot so don't do the morning do like evening time so we're just gonna do the castle and just walk around the neighborhood 
uh, for a little bit. It is 30,000. And I think for Gerald it was less because we paid 72,000 for all three of us to get in. And we're just gonna check this out. But you guys, if I knew it was all these hills, <laughs> why am I always walking in all the hills, you guys? Oh my God. All right, so we're going. This castle is a fortress that was built back in 1536 and is located on the hills of San Lazaro. It is the perfect spot. You could spot your enemies coming from land or from the sea. So they built it, of course, always like these castles, the fortresses, where they can attack the enemy before they get to them, right? All right, so we are going to continue climbing up. It is a steep climb. I'm already tired, but let's push on. Let's see if you can see inside here, you guys. Right, don't be tall. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so dark in here. It's a tunnel. Tunnel is already pulled in. It's Head down, he's bending. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Ooh, look, it goes so far down. I don't know if you guys can even see what's happening. I'm trying to give you some light here. Oh my god. No, we're just walking. We don't even know where we're going, but it's like leading to different places. Wow. Look, you can give the oh, let's go out this way. Oh wow. <laughs> we found a way out. If you're enjoying this and or other videos traveling around the world currently in South America, be sure to hit the like button, hit the notification bell to stay up to date on our adventures and subscribe. Alright you guys, so that was a pretty cool castle to walk and look around. Everything was in Spanish so we couldn't really read any of the writings that they had um, displayed in a couple areas. But of course there's Google. <laughs> but yeah, it's, thank God it's still not raining but it's still overcast so it's not hot like the first day we got here that I was about to die. So that's good. So now we're just gonna try to walk around a little bit, see what else is going on. Um, it is a pretty cool castle to come and just check out. We came in here for some cool air and water. Jarrell did bring water this time. If you know, you know, you guys. He steps out of the house, he's thirsty and he always doesn't bring water. But he did bring his water bottle. I guess he's just a thirsty, thirsty child. So, oh, we can go into Jumbo. Let's go into Jumbo, get some water. Maybe check this mall out and then we're gonna go over to the Get Some Money. I think that's what it's called, neighborhood. Check out all the pretty, pretty um, murals and things like that. I'll show you what it is. And of course, there's the crepes and waffles in here. There's a cookie jar, the huge. <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna walk around here for just a second because I mean, who doesn't love AC, right? Just walking through Miniso. I love walking through this store. Don't need anything. <laughs> Just looking because everything is so cute. Look at these. Just tell me these aren't cute, you guys. Okay. I want me something. No, I'm not buying anything. But yeah. Oh, is this so cute? How much is this? It's food grade. So 9900 So a dollar and change. Two dollars a little bit. Somewhere there about. Okay, 40% discount. 
and of course I end up buying stuff because that's just me. Oh, look at these. Oh, we bought one of these already. So that's fine. All right, you guys. And of course, we're back at Crips and Waffles. Just for ice cream this time, not eating. And it's still full. Like, if you see around there, you guys, I don't know. This place is just always, always crazy packed. But it's so good, man. Definitely have to check it out. Especially the ice cream. Like, you have to try their ice cream if you come here. I mean, just look at this, you guys. So just look at that ice cream. Um, pistachio y galata. That's what I'm getting because they don't have the lemon cheesecake. That thing was so bomb. Oh my goodness. See, si, see. Si. Oh my gosh, you guys, let's look at this thing. Oh, so yum. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Then at the very top, there's this cute little patio place where you have a couple different restaurants overlooking the city. Wow, this is beautiful. Right, so just walk from the mall or from the castle and you'll get to the wall of the city. You can see that in front of us. So we're like, haven't even been 10 minutes, maybe five, six minutes. But we're going over to that neighborhood, like I said, just just walking around, lalagagging. <laughs> My kids are looking at me like, okay, what? Hey, bonjour, bonjour. We really cannot. <laughs> You guys, I cannot take them anywhere. Like, I don't know why I keep doing it. But yeah, it's a good walk. At least the sun isn't out and crazy. Cause I would be in right now. Like it would be just way too much, but it's a beautiful day. Overcast, but perfect. And we're in Getsunami, a cute little neighborhood, colorful, beautiful, tons of paint and wall art. So we're just gonna walk, look around and I'll show you some of the streets. Look how pretty these are, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, look how pretty this is. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. And that's a cute little park over there, but the kids are saying it feels sketchy over here. <laughs> so we're not gonna go. We're just walking out here. I mean, it feels a little bit rough, but it's okay we're fine we're just you know taking precautions walking around we're just gonna go through that street instead oh. <laughs> they're saying it's not a little rough it's a lot rough you guys all right let's go down this way where there's more people don't walk on you know streets by yourself i'm taking all the precautions i'm not scared or anything but you know yeah Right, so we're out of that area. It is so beautiful, you guys. All those colorful streets, the buildings, all the little flags. It was really pretty. So now we're gonna find some food to eat and rest our feet. I'm not sure which plaza we're walking through, but as you can see, we're going back into the walled city. That's the entrance there with the clock tower. You can see this is the area. So everything is, you can walk. You just come with your walking shoes, you guys. Because you'll be walking everywhere. And then for the most part, um, on every street or every so often you see police on their bikes or just 
standing around. Kyle said one was on his was FaceTime and his wife or girlfriend. <laughs> but at least they're there so you feel safer.